Hey everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Khalil here for another toy of the day. Welcome to Caster's Corner Toy of the Day, I guess. Um, how about just toy? And I know it's been a while since I've done a review. I've got a few in the can. I've got a few podcasts. If you've listened, you know. Um, but yeah, so I just felt like I needed to um, go over. Because like, if you can't see the pile that's behind me, that is nothing compared to the pile over there and the pile over there and the pile way back there. You can kind of see some of the stuff piling up. And uh, so I figured the best way for me to get stuff up and out of this room is to review them. And honestly, I'm not sure what a toy review looks like anymore. Um, I don't even know how many of you are watching. So uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I finally was able to finish this wave here with the new McFarland um, uh, Starro Build-A-Figure, the Injustice Society. Um, no, no, not Injustice Society. Um, crime Syndicate, <laughs> Crime Syndicate. Um, the, the modern Crime Syndicate. So we've got Power Ring, um, we've got Superwoman, with a removable Starro Spore. Um, each of them came with their own Starro Spores. So there's four in this wave. And I mean, it took a while, right? It took a while to get these. Um, we've got Ultraman. We've got, uh, sorry, they were in the light box. We have Owlman. And then we've got the big boy himself, Starro. So let's take a closer look at these. How about it? So we get the whole crime syndicate here. And honestly, it's been a long time coming. Owlman was the third figure in the wave. I like the texture of his costume. I think overall, he's probably one of the strongest of the wave. Um, I wish they had more accessories, to be honest with you. But the Star Obed, the figure, is really the accessory for this line. Superwoman, she suffers from the side-eye glance. I think overall it's okay. It's kind of a plain design, but that's the way it looks in the comic books. Again, she's missing any extra accessories. Starro kind of takes up that place. And although she's really good for customs, Bill's done a few really good ones, she's just okay. Ultraman, hands down, is the weakest of the bunch. I'm glad I got him on clearance, to be honest with you. There's not much to him. Power Ring, however, holds a special place in my heart because I think he's the best of all of them and him and Owlman kind of fight for that place it's really nice to have finished this I wish it wasn't all at Target it's really nice to have them together as a group like this I think it's a really nice addition to the DCU the clip-on Starro pieces was a nice touch and Starro although he's not as big as I think we all want him to be I think the design and texture for both sides of the figure is just stunning so overall, it's a pretty good wave. So there you have it, the whole Starro wave. After a year <sighs> waiting for Target to put him out, um, I understand the need to use these retailers, but honestly, the fact that Target hides the release date, uh, I'm not a fan of that. So it's really nice to have him. And honestly, if you wanted a costume, you could, even though <laughs> that's really spiky. Um, you could theoretically just use this as a costume. And there you go. Now you're taken over by Starro. Um, yeah, I mean, just looking at him, like I said, Ultraman's probably the weakest of the bunch. It's a really good figure overall, but I mean, there's not much to him here. Um, these guys, these two, 
had the most going on. So I think that these two are the most impressive of the four. And now we're starting our uh, new one, the Flashpoint build a figure, build a character, whatever they call it, wave. And uh, we start another year long relationship with Target, which is so much fun. Um, anyway, so uh, Power Ring is now hitting targets. The rest of them have gone on clearance, so you're out of luck if you haven't gotten them yet. Um, but these guys are really nice because they fit with just about any figures from any of the lines, including any of the other McFarlands. So it's really good. This is a custom. So um, just wondering what that was. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you again for another Toy of the Day. Remember, hit that follow button. Thanks, guys. Thank you.